Okay guys, so let's continue on with this tutorial. Um, the first thing that we're going to want to do is go to the 960 Grid System website. And to get there is just 960.gs. Alright? And uh, it's, it's a really cool uh, resource that we're going to be using. And uh, to show you what it exactly is, is it's uh, a way to design uh, to design websites. Um, if you use their template, it's it's going to be really easy to write all of the code for the website. Uh, so these are just some examples of websites that use the 960 grid system. Um, some of them are a little bit more obvious than others, but uh, if you click this little button that says Show Grid it's going to show the 960 grid system on top of uh, this website. So you can see uh, how everything kind of lines up. Uh, and I mean, it, it works with all of these. Some of them are a little bit more obvious than others. Uh, but see how all these images down here line up. Um, and let's see here. There's a really good one down here. This one, it's so obvious that it uses the 960 grid system, which is fine. It's it's a great uh, tool. Uh, so you know this navigation, this logo up top here, content, all these buttons down here, everything lines up, and it, it looks great. I I think it looks really nice. It looks really clean. Looks professional, uh, and it's really easy to do. So what we need to do is download the 960 grid system. So it's just up, up here at the very top left corner of the website. Just click on that and it'll download. And uh, I've got it right here on my desktop. So I'm just going to extract it. And take a second. Alright, so it's extracted. And uh, I'm just going to rename this folder to be Ben. Uh, I'll just name it Website. Uh, and I'll rename this to be just 960. Alright, and so inside of the 960 grid system, we have a whole bunch of different things. Uh, we have plugins, we have the actual code. Uh, we have the license. Uh, we have sketch sheets for if you want to print out, um, you know, on paper, uh, the layout, the 960 grid system, and then you can just draw in with a pencil uh, what you want your website to look like. Um, so it's got the layout right here. Uh, I find that when I print this out, it's usually a little bit too light, so you might want to go into Photoshop and, and darken it a little bit, um, but it's pretty cool, and it has different uh, different views of the 960 grid system. Uh, I, I didn't mention this before, but there's two types, or two main types uh, that are used for the 960 grid system. There's 12 column and there's 16 column. So this website right here uses 12 columns and these red bars are columns. Um, and this one over here uses 16 columns. I kind of like 12 columns over 16 uh, but I mean, you can use 16 if you want. Either one's fine. So um, anyway, so they have the 16 column and 12 column grids inside here that you can print out. Uh, this is actually really useful, and, and they have 24 column as well, which I don't, I don't think you really need. Um, it, this is kind of nice for if you're sitting down with someone uh, trying to help them out and design a website for them. But uh, what we're going to be using in this tutorial is uh, the Photoshop template. So that's just under templates and then Photoshop. So, you know, they have the 12, the 16, and the 24 column, but we're going to be using the 12 column. So let's just copy that file, and we'll go back to our website folder, and I'll make a new folder 
and call it uh, layout. And we're going to paste that in there. And uh, we'll open this up and take a look at it. All right. So, I mean, this is like the same thing that we were looking at before uh, on the 960 Grid System website. It's got all those columns. Um, so what we're going to be doing is making a new layer and uh, just using the, the rectangular marquee tool. Just uh, click and drag um, and make sure, make sure snap is on. So view, snap, make sure it's on and you're going to click and drag out uh, and see how um, on the left side of the selection it's not snapped to an edge. If you hold down spacebar while you're dragging you can move the entire um, selection. So we can move it and it'll snap up against there uh, and then we can let go of spacebar and continue to drag out our selection. Uh, so we're just going to design the layout of our website uh, just using boxes. So, you know, that could be the header, and then we could have navigation down here. And the height really doesn't matter as long as we are inside these columns. So, uh, as long as you don't go like halfway between a column, so like right here, you wouldn't want something like that uh, because how the 960 grid system works is it needs to have uh, these gutters in between the columns. Um, we're just going to be designing stuff to go in between columns. But you can span more than one column, like how uh, this box up here, it, it uses one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten out of the twelve columns. Uh, and this one uses all twelve. Uh, as long as you use, um, you know, integer numbers of columns, it's fine. So, no four and a half columns. Uh, you you need it to be a whole column. Okay. So, um, I've already designed a couple of layouts, and let's um, not that. Let's take a look at those. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. So this was like one that I whipped together in literally 10 minutes. Um, if you do control H, you can show and hide the guides. These uh, lines that are vertical, those are guides. So, uh, you know, this is just a, a little mock website that I designed in literally 10 minutes. So I've got, you know, my logo, I've got you know, navigation up here at the top, title of the page, got my demo reel, description about portfolio contact, and then an image to go with each one. Um, so that's that's about it. I mean, like all all you have to do is you know click click some text, write out what it is each block is, and uh, you know that's that's about it for layout. Um, here, let me open up. Let me open up another uh, design that I did. This one used uh, just a single page, a single web page, um, which is fine. You can have everything on one web page. Um, different people browse differently. Uh, I find that older people tend to browse uh, more linearly. Like they'll start at the top and work their way down the website. Uh, and it's and it's fine. It's that's how they they browse. Uh, younger people tend to skim through an entire website and then decide where they're going to start reading or where they're going to look into. Um, they they use more of like a hierarchy rather than like a linear like I'm going to read a book from start to finish. Uh, younger people like to jump in to where uh, they think the important content is. So when you're designing a website, uh, you're going to want to think who is going to be looking at my website. Um, if it's a recruiter, it might be someone who's older or younger. Um, 
So you might want to try designing it for both. So in this case, uh, this website has everything that is really important above the, the fold. So you go to the website, boom, there's the demo reel. Uh, and you know you can watch it, you can read the description, and you can scroll down and read about you. Uh, you can see your portfolio, a uh, link to the blog, and your contact information. And that's it. That's super simple, super easy to browse. It gives you all the information you need in the order that you want. Um, and there's a really nice website that I, I really like. It's actually on one of these. It's uh, this one, uh, Black Estate Vineyard. And it uses the 960 grid system. And what I, what I did was I actually took that website. Um, let's open it up here in Photoshop. I took screenshots of that website and stitched it all together to be one giant image. And if you look at it from afar, you can see that it is one giant linear website. Uh, you can start at the, the top and go down if you want, but the, the size and, and scale and position of everything uh, suggests a hierarchy. Uh, so it, it's good for both uh, younger browsers and older ones. Um, and if we if we take a look at this, you can see that uh, the layout of the website actually kind of like swerves back and forth like this. Um, so when that you're browsing it, your eyes move across the entire page. So if I just scroll down, you'll see that our eyes move, you know, from right to left, from left to right. Uh, and a nice flow. Um, it's it's a really well designed website, and I really like it. Uh, so that's something that you can think about when you're designing your website. Um, so let's pull up this last example. This is the one that we're going to be building. Uh, it's really simple, not that complicated at all. Um, got a header, navigation demo reel description. Uh, everything's really simple, easy to browse, uh, not confusing at all. Um, it's not nearly as uh, complicated as that wine website, but uh, it, it's going to do what we want it to do. Uh, so I'll end this tutorial on this. In the next one, uh, we're going to be actually building this web page. All right. All right, see you in a few.